Welcome back, and we are going to continue. We're going to go ahead and, and skin the joint system to the body. So let's go ahead and to show all. Okay. And we need to prep the uh, mesh. So let's go ahead and show none and then show just polygons. And so what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and uh, select everything and combine it. So let's go to uh, mesh combine. There we go. Alright, so you can see all this uh, all this history. Now um, since this history uh, can be problematic at best um, I usually delete it but if you have a blend shape you can't do that. So if you have blend shapes you cannot uh, delete by type history. I don't have any blend shapes on this character, so I'm going to delete by type history, and this um, this kind of cleans everything up. So you kind of want to do that uh, before you do blend shapes. So I'm going to go to edit delete by type histories. There we go. So now I'm going to go ahead and show um, all. All right. So I'm going to select the joint system and then shift select the skin. Okay, and then we're going to go to skin and bind skin and click on the option box. And we're going to go ahead and reset the settings and click bind skin. Okay, so when I hit the 4 key wireframe, it will turn the character a uh, pinkish color. Um, that's normal. Okay. And we'll also kind of make the skeleton kind of a rainbow color. All right now, the next step is a long one. So I'm going to show you how to uh, paint weights, and you'll have to do that for all of the joints. I'm not going to do the entire character. I'm going to do a portion of the character. But let's kind of take a look at what is happening and, and why we need to paint weights. Okay, so we'll get you started. So I'm going to go in here and... and push this. And you can see that the helmet is actually moving with the arm. So that means that somewhere a joint, it could be the elbow, could be the shoulder, that is moving or even the wrist has influence on this mesh. And we got to be careful not to make sure it doesn't have influence on that mesh. So, so a couple things that are, uh, are needed. Um, let's go back. Okay, so we also have um, some issues with the neck so you can see that when I click on that and I rotate this helmet um, you can see that it the neck doesn't actually pulse um, the face gets all distorted um, that's not good and we also have issues when we pull this way we can see some of the the uh, shoulder pads come up so um, to do to fix all this um, let's go ahead and click on the root and um, I'll show you how to to paint weights and we're just gonna do it in certain areas so you can get comfortable and um, we'll get you started you also just kinda wanna follow a couple tips to help make this uh, easy process okay so I'm going to go into um, skin and I'm going to go into paint skin weights and go into the option box. Okay. So we've got our paint brush, okay, which is cool. All right. So um, what we want to do is we kind of, you can see that when um, I'm clicking on these uh, basic you can see that we have our joint system in here which is kinda cool so kinda get an idea where things are at so down at the where the feet are it's down quite a bit farther in the hierarchy so I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna click on select geometry so we want to paint uh, the geometry so I'm gonna go ahead and select and just kind of move around in here, it gets kind of stuck. But the, what we want to do is we want to click on Paint and select Geometry. And that's when it, it is invoked. And if you can't get that to work, it's kind of a weird 
thing where you, you got to kind of hit select and then paint select and then back to paint and then click on select geometry okay so just kind of follow that it's a glitch uh, I'm sorry to say but anyway so that's how you get it and then we want to make that um, paintbrush a lot smaller okay so hold the B B as in boy the B key down and while you're holding it down you can move your mouse back and forth to make it bigger or smaller you can also go in here um, I guess it doesn't really have it has the opacity which is the weight okay and um, so hold the B key down for scaling the brush up we also have stroke down here and there's a the radius right here it looks like so I can hold the B key down you can see that radius whoops you can see that radius change there we go okay and so it's per vertex so you want the brush smaller than the area so we can paint per vertex okay we also want to make sure that our opacity is really really low okay so let's start with point one just just, just get started and that's going to be uh, really really low so I want to click on you can see that uh, what is actually influencing what so when we go to the root you see the root is influencing all the way up there so let's go to the ab and what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to add to the selection so we notice that if I move the arm down if I click on the clavicle see how much it actually influences that's not good we're not ever going to move the clavicle because I want the clavicle to control um, the shoulder pad if I go to the shoulder notice that it actually is selecting uh, the face place face plate so you can't really remove that um, we've got replace I, I wouldn't do that um, I would always add okay so uh, replace kind of is kind of a problem smooth kind of smooths um, the, the, the pieces together the skate the, um, the skin weights together um, so always mess with just click on add and just keep stick to it and let me show you how you do that then so if I want to take that paint um, the weight off of from the shoulder off of the helmet that I want to go to the helmet itself and paint on it and it will take away so I need to go to the neck so wherever that is so um, elbow sternum clavicle okay chest clavicle so neck should be in here somewhere there's the neck base and there's the neck so what we're going to do with the neck not the neck base but the neck is paint that a hundred percent so you're just gonna paint that and we could probably bring the opacity all the way up if we wanted to uh, to get that perfectly white okay so um, with the neck we want that area here and so I'm gonna make the brush a little bit bigger and you can do that as you paint um, just don't go down too far keep just do the helmet and just concentrate on the helmet right now so you can see that the neck will totally uh, you know control all of this the head and that's what you want to do you just kind of want to we'll, we'll do that first since that's the easiest one to do to understand um, if you have points uh, pulling still you may want to go into the mesh and paint inside the mesh see the problem is here is that with all the hair and the eyebrows and all that stuff it's hard to get behind all that stuff and that it, that can be, become a problem so we're just gonna get the face and the eyes and everything and so we don't have any issues and problems um, and this is a very simple rig and I would have probably uh, done a better job uh, like having the eyes separate but we you know and moving separately with constraints and eye constraints but we're gonna we're gonna do that in the rigging class. So I'm gonna get all of this. I want this to be very rigid when I move the neck. I don't want anything left behind. And so we're just kind of. It just takes a lot of work and a lot of time to get that um, finished. So I'll do a quick job here. Whoops. Control Z. 
um, if you make a mistake. Okay. So, you know, I hate just having you have to watch this, but what I'm going to do is probably uh, stop the uh, or pause the video so you can see what it looks like. So I'm going to pause. Okay, I'm back and um, got most of it painted. Sometimes you have to go inside the model. Make sure you don't go down too far on the neck. That's not good. So we're just focusing on the head. And sometimes you have to go inside the model itself and paint, which really is uh, horrible. But it is just how it is. And it's not hard work. It's just tedious work trying to get all the pieces. If you miss a piece um, when you move his head in an extreme pose, um, unfortunately, those pieces that are darker will not follow. They'll kind of stretch and move and cause issues and problems. So, um, if you see that, you will have to go in and paint those problematic places again. Uh, it's just it's just how it is. It's the 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 beast uh, Maya. Um, so, it it does a pretty good job. You have to paint all this stuff out. Um, and you know the the crazy geometry that you have like the hair is is very problematic and can be a real pain in the ass excuse my language pain in the butt <laughs> so um continue uh getting most of that out again um i'm not going to spend a ton of time on there like i think i did pretty good again if you see or or see things like that you just kind of paint those out and do the best you can. Okay. All right. Um, after you get done painting, you probably want to stop and and if you did a good job, uh, look at your model and and then um, check it and then save it. So I'm going to go in here and and hit the you can hit the Q key to get out of the tool. And then um, select the object, the area that was causing problems, and go ahead and rotate that and see how that looks. And let's take a look. And so you can see that it does pretty good. We just got some spots that are still being um, attached, that you still attached. Okay. So go in there and keep painting that until you get everything painted. Okay. All right. Okay. So do that for all the objects. That's how you paint uh, weights. Again, you know, I'm not going to do every single thing. What you want to do is you kind of want to go to the next joint. So click on the joints again. And um, go into skin and paint weights. And you can go in there and go to the next object. Click on geometry and just kind of go and, and and you just have to kind of play with it a little bit so let's go into the abs, the sternum and the chest so the clavicle so we want, we want the clavicle to kind of control um, this um, this piece right here so if we go into the clavicle we can actually paint uh, this now I'm I'm doing a, v a very, you know, I need to go in here to the smallest brush I can get, and when I'm painting full strength, because you do not want that to overlap and get onto anything else. So I'm going to paint that inside here. And before, when I moved the arm down, it moved, it stretched this part too. Now so notice I got into this over here. So Control Z that. That's not good and just kind of rotate around and you have to be super careful what you're clicking on and painting especially at full strength at a weaker strength um, like we said opacity at point one um, you can make mistakes a little you know but it takes a lot longer to to paint this out and some of you just don't want to do that don't want to wait that long but it does keep you from making huge mistakes so I'm going to go back up to the opacity of one and um, and paint that, keep it nice and quick. That way um, I can move a along a little bit faster, but you also got to be a little bit better 
at this okay, and watch what you're painting. Okay, make sure you don't get any of the arm. Now, if you make mistakes, it's okay. You know, you can go back and make those changes. You can also lock certain areas too. Um, so if you feel like you're, you, you kind of have to watch yourself. You can lock everything else around it. Let's say, um, like everything, so it won't paint accidentally and that's something you can do I suppose um, that way whoops I guess you can it doesn't lock you from painting that kind of stinks um exactly not sure why you would have that then yeah you can keep painting anywhere you want okay so I guess you just wanna be just be careful Make sure that's all unlocked, I guess. Okay. Okay, back in the ab root chest clavicle. There we go. And so we'll keep painting the clavicle. Again, this is painting vertices, so if your brush is small enough, it you can pretty you can do a pretty good job, be pretty accurate on this. And now, when I move the arm, it will not move that piece of geometry at all. Uh, whoops! Got into that arm there. Okay, so let's give it a try and see what happens. All right, so I'm going to hit the Q key, and I'm going to select the wrist controller. Now, this is something we can talk about. We can probably hide that uh, this piece right here. We don't really need that anymore, the IK handle. So you can make it invisible, I suppose. Yeah, visibility, you can turn it off. Um, and select it this way. That's what, how we want to do it. I'm going to move that. And you can see that um, we're no longer influencing that um, that armor. Okay? So that's kind of nice. Alright. Alright, so that's paint weights. Again, I'm not going to do every single uh, object, every single joint you guys get the idea and you want to blend together when you get into things like the elbow so if you don't like your elbow joint moving the way it, um, you have to be kind of careful with that if you don't like how it's moving um, you can go in there and paint that as well okay but be careful you want to smooth you want to kind of make that transition smooth so Let's go into skin, paint weights again. And um, let's go ahead and select the joint first. There we go. And go to select geometry. And let's go down the arm a minute. So there's shoulder. And there's the elbow, and there's the wrist. Okay, so we got elbow. So it's influencing quite a ways up. So if I take my shoulder, okay, and I paint that, maybe not that high. Let's go down to 0.5 maybe. And I, this is my shoulder, so I, I paint this area here and really get it tight in through here and through here but keep it kind of soft right at that joint okay so it's going to influence that a hundred percent 
close to it. We'll see how that works. And you can see I accidentally painted it in there, so you have to spend a little more time than what I just did. And then go to your elbow and um, notice that it took away that that area. And paint this really tight right along here. And just kind of play around to see what, what it looks like, you know, how it looks, what the best is. If it looks good. Okay, so go back to the shoulder and paint more in here. There we go, along that area. And I'm gonna, I need to go back to my clavicle and paint back these areas so that it doesn't warp. Here we go. Okay, and now we can go in here to hit the Q key and move that and just kind of test that. See how that looks. So you need to get a, a lot stronger definition here, which is probably not something you want as a break. It looks kind of like it breaks there, so you have to kind of soften that a little bit more. Okay? All right, that's uh, that's basically paint weights. It's kind of a it's a long process. You have to take your time. And but that's it. That's how you do it.